For those of us who type and compose in ancient polytonic Greek, um, uh, an ancient Greek spell checker is a real blessing. I use it a lot in my teaching, and I wanted to show you how to install it on your computer. First of all, note that you need to install LibreOffice. This is a free document and spreadsheet editor. It's based on the OpenOffice platform. And this ancient Greek spell checker won't work with other document editors such as Microsoft Word. So search for LibreOffice and figure that out and download it. Next, you need to download and install an ancient Greek extension for LibreOffice. Search for this phrase, ancient Greek languages support for LibreOffice, and include this weird word, helug, because that's part of the, the uh, URL. And you should find a page that looks like the image shown here. Click on the menu in the top left the horizontal lines. Scroll all the way down to download and installation instructions and click on that. Then click on the puzzle piece, the newest version, 1.6 beta 7. There are two versions here, one with documentation, one without. Download that file. It's an OXT extension file. When it's downloaded, find it and double click on it and LibreOffice, which is already installed on your computer, will open it up and you will have uh, the ancient Greek extension on your computer, you, on your LibreOffice. You do need to close LibreOffice and open it again before it works. Paste in some Greek. Now everything you paste in might show as being spelled wrong or might not be shown as spelled wrong at all, that squiggly red line. Now here, there must be a better way to do this, but the only way I know how to do this and, and get it to spell check Greek is I paste in from, let's say, my Microsoft Word program, I paste plain text. Then I go to the Omega icon on the top left. Click on that and scroll down to Set Language to Ancient Greek. When you click on Set Language to Ancient Greek, you want to Execute. Then a dialog will say yes or no. Say yes. And then you need to close this dialog. And then your Greek will be recognized as Greek, and any misspelled Greek will be underlined in red. If you have any English in the document, that'll be underlined red too because it's misspelled according to ancient Greek. Now this step of setting the language to ancient Greek may need to be repeated when new Greek is added. If you see the large S in the top left, the blue S, you can click on that and then hit OK and it'll do the same thing. This is a glitch, maybe a user glitch or maybe a program glitch. I can't figure it out. but easy uh, easy glitch to get over and a small step small price to pay for getting ancient Greek spell checker to work so what does it look like here I have misspelled of tos as of toos and I right click on it and it gives me some options well it gives me of tis of tus of tus of tonus of tekos well none of those are ones I want so I might have to modify the word first. Here I'm going to modify it from avtoos to avtos. And then I look and it gives me options. And I pick the right one, avtos, with the grave accent. This works uh, very well, although you do have to choose the right accent, grave or acute, and you have to look carefully. Here, even complicated Actually, very unusual, rare words will work well here. Not so unusual, but I misspelled erkeste with a kappa. And I right-click on it, and sure enough, it says ergeste or ereste or erkeste. And I choose erkeste, and it corrects it. Brilliant.
getting this ancient Greek spell checker onto your computer. If you're a teacher of Greek, composing or typing Greek, it's a remarkable tool. You still do need to watch things. Very few people know that it's available. Uh, my gratitude, our gratitude to Frederico Boschetti, who first developed the spell checker for OpenOffice, and to Spiros Gerogaras, who made it more user-friendly and developed the site for LibreOffice. Thank you.